everyone my name is precious and welcome back to my channel in today's video i'll be teaching you how to make an ankara scrunchie and also an additional design at the end of the video so keep on watching these are the things you've been needing you've been needing your ankara fabric you've been needing your ruler you've been needing scissors tape pro and elastic so it's gonna be a fun diy so first step is to cut out this piece this is 25 inches by 7 inches and this is an elastic that is 9 inches long so when you are uh, measuring your elastic make sure you are not pulling the elastic make sure it is just resting on the table so the next thing to do now is we are going to fold this into two. So after folding this into two, you are going to sew from the edge here to the middle. Then leave about three inches or two inches. Then sew to the end of the fabric. So this is how it is going to look like. This is the space. And then sew from this edge down so the next thing to do now is to from this opening pull in the end of this fabric in so instead of pulling it out of the hole push it through so you might want to use a pin for this but because I've done this several times I feel more confident and So, after it has reached the edge, pull out the opening. Adjust it so that the edges meet each other. So, it's like a perfect O. So, once this is done, take it to your machine and sew round sew the two edges together and if you don't have a machine you can use your needle and thread to do this it's very easy so you sew it round like this so this is what it's going to look like sewn together so the next step is look for the hole where we left initially then pull the fabric through the hole you would be able to, you'd be able to do like this then pull it yep we are almost done then arrange it the edges soon be arranged like this so it's going to look like this so you go back to where the hole is which is here and insert the elastic so I use the pin A <laughs> okay I don't know the name so safety pin and this other time pin To make the movement easy actually so before continuing to push through pin your other end of elastic to your fabric so that it doesn't get lost in the fabric while you're pulling so now continue So now release the pin. And so if you don't have a zigzag machine or something to use to sew these edges together, you can also use your machine or needle and thread. 
So I'm going to drop a tip here that will be very useful. So after stitching it, I used my lighter to burn the edges. So that will stop it from, should I say shredding or the remover, removal of the elastic so it will stay there permanently. So now, release your fabric and then close the edge, close the opening, close it. So by, at, by this time, the fabric will have already straightened out. So just sew very close to the edge to make it look neat. So there you have it. Our scrunchie is ready. It is so beautiful. And now to the additional design I'm going to teach you today. When you're done with this, cut out this piece of fabric. So this is 30 inches by 5 inches. The length is 30 inches. The breadth is 5 inches. So the next thing to do now is to turn, fold this in two. And as we did initially with the scrunchie, you sew from the edge to almost the middle, leave about 2 inches, then sew to the end of the fabric. So this is what it should look like to so the end. So now, sew like a cross line at the tip of the fabric on both the end side of the fabric, like a cross line. So this is what it will look like eventually. So I'm going to separate this. to do now is go to the opening and then turn inside out so I'm just going to do that quickly but now this way you are going to turn all the way outside through the hole So after this is done, then you top stitch very close to the edge so that you would have a neat finishing. So this is what it will look like. Just clear this out. So after doing this, the next thing to do is to iron. You have to iron out the edges. Make sure you point out the edges well. Because that's the beauty of the design. The end result is a perfect flat rope. So the next thing is <laughs> tie it to your scrunchie. Pick any end of your scrunchie here. Give it a good tie. So don't don't just tie sharply. Take your time in tying it. Make it look good. Make it look good. Then there you have it. Oh, it is so cute. Yeah. So this is the end of our video. I'll be expecting you in my next video. Turn on the notification bell and. Subscribe. Bye.